Uh, today's video is uh, it's not a very long one. Um, I purchased a new diagnostic system, uh, additional to the launch of the Delphi that I had, because I found that it didn't quite do what I needed to. Um, <clears throat> so I bought the uh, Snap One Ethos. Uh, really good bit of kit. So uh, I'm going to be going through that today. All right, I only literally picked it up yesterday, so I'm still getting to grips with it. But it's very easy to use. It does a lot of the functions for the newer cars, like the 2014, 2015s, 2017s, you know, like the Delphi wouldn't do. Um, it also the launch wouldn't do. So, you know, DPF deletes, all that kind of stuff, injector programming. So, I've got my E55 AMG here. I know you haven't seen it for a while, but it's still here. It's absolutely filthy, so um, excuse that. We're going to plug it in and see what it opens up modules wise etc because it's got a lot of electrics on it so uh, yeah let's see what we can do I'm just gonna I'm not gonna go through in depth of the whole system but what I'm gonna do is just show you all the different things it can do okay so let's plug it in set it up and uh, I'll join you in a second guys okay guys so just set it up um, comes with a nice holder at the back put it on the steering wheel uh, I'm trying to do this the best I can, right? Trying to look at the uh, camera and the system, right? So let's scroll down. V very, very, very easy to use menu, okay? So, sorry, it's just kind of, let's go back one. That's the screen that you see first. You've got a scanner, OBD2, which will just scan the whole car for codes. You've got your tools and setups and previous vehicle data that you saved. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So, first of all, scanner right you're gonna find the car mercedes you gotta push a little bit hard on the actual touchpad and i'm hoping you guys can see this it's a 2003 okay so you've got automatic id or manual id either way it's choose automatic and it will find the car for you so gathering information data like I said, very easy to use, man. It's got it's got all the latest updates on it. Um, got it at a really good price as well. So I'm guessing it's uh, scanning through a lot of modules at the moment. Right, identify the vehicle, VIN number, 5.5 litre V8. That's what we'd like to see. Right, so I know the car's got some codes. So let's uh, let's go through the modules that it's got at the moment. Right, look. It's got engine, transmission, ABS, airbag, just standard stuff, air conditioning. And this is where it gets a bit in depth. You've got the active service system. Uh, you've got the active service system plus. You've got the navigation, battery control, because these cars have a battery control module. Uh, central gateway, like all your ECUs and everything. Look at that, Distronic, which this car hasn't got. Door control modules, dynamic seats. It's got loads of stuff on here. So it just goes to show, right, that you can tap into all these modules. Look, electronic ignition switch, gear selector, headlamp range, instrument panel. Like I said, I can't go through all of this because it will just take forever. <clears throat> but it just gives you a level of reading, right, that what, I mean, this is a 2003 car. So imagine you plugged something like this into, let's say, I don't know, a Bentley, you know, a 2018 or 2019 Bentley. May it'll give you loads of stuff on it. Look at that lower control module, multifunction control module, onboard electrics, overhead control panel, which is that doesn't look like much, but yeah. Um, <clears throat> what else we got? Parktronic. We've got rear and door closing modules. Yeah, like I said, this car's got modules for everything, mate. Um, so steering column suspension one of my favorites let's see what we can do with the suspension okay so I'm hoping you can adjust the suspension on this um, right an error has occurred slave record right I don't know what that means guys like I said I've only got it yesterday I know the battery on a car is very low uh, let's see if it's got any codes in that section left front level sensor failure or both signals okay i think that's an old code because i did replace both front level sensors uh not too long ago but uh, i will be looking at that again so for example you can go back clear codes yes right clear codes 
some system requires engine to be started or need a test drive before codes disappear okay so it's quite informative let's go back and see if the codes are there right no codes present okay so now i know if i'm driving and that code comes back i know that sensor on the left hand side needs changing okay so let's go back into another module This is the one thing I'm not too happy about. It's like menu after menu that you've got going to kind of go back on yourself. So like I said, guys, I hope you guys can see this. I will try and edit this video the best I can. Um, my garage lights have just gone out, but probably can see it better now. Sorry, guys, just had to turn the garage lights back on. Uh, right, so it's into engine now, the codes. Uh, no codes present, that's what we like to see. Uh, right, let's. I want to show you something else, right? Sorry about the jerky video, guys. I'm literally holding the phone. It's not how I normally do videos, but it's a bit difficult um, sitting in a car trying to demonstrate this. Right, so let's go into transmission. I know I've got a tra slight transmission issue on this, either a low oil or my conductor plate is on its way out, right? Um, I'm going to be doing a full service on the gearbox, dropping them. Um, the whole valve body doing the conductor plate on it um, doing the shift solenoid kit on it which you get from VRP up in the States um, and help shift quicker probably change it to a uh, race spec uh, transmission oil as well right if you're going to function tests and um, you can relearn the procedures okay of the gearbox I'm not doing it I'm not gonna do it now um, because you need to you need I don't know if you can see that guys sorry Right, relearn procedures. You need to have done certain procedures like do the oil change or have made changes to the actual valve body, okay? Which I haven't done. So I'm going to go back. Um, codes, let's see if it's got any codes. It has got codes. Um, right, engine has excessive speed. Sometimes you get this code up. Now, the car's been heavily modified, right? It's had pulleys done. Um, it's had a aftermarket uh, TCU tune. Now I suspect the TCU tune is bringing this up um, because the torque ratio is not being limited. Okay, so I've got two TCUs. <clears throat> Currently, I've got the one which is hasn't got any torque limit on it, and it just lets all the power loose. That's what I've got running on at, at the moment, and it brings this up. However, I've got another one which has been done by DMS. Um, limits the torque, lets you put the power down better. So I'm going to be putting that one back, and I'm pretty sure with when I put that ECU in, uh, sorry, when I put that TCU in, I don't get these codes. So I'm going to leave those codes where they are for now. So it lets me um, um, remind me of any issues that I might have. So like I said, I'm going to be taxing the car, not taxed at the moment because I've not been driving it. So it's just sitting in the garage. Um, but the uh, sun's out so um, why not okay so you got airbags anti-lock brakes all the normal stuff um, battery control assist plus let's go into active service system right okay any codes right, no codes which is good because you don't want codes in that section Okay, so you've got data, go to data. Okay, now what this does, this gives you live data. So if you go to any module and click on data, this gives you live data. I'm not gonna start the car now because it's so loud, okay? So it'll give you remaining distance to next service. It'll give you mileage since last oil change, yeah? 1,183, okay? So the oil's pretty fresh in the car, um, although it's due for a change. So if we go back, See at the top here, before we go back, at the top here, it gives you loads of other options, okay? Like I said, I'm still getting to grips with this, but the booklet that's come with this is absolutely massive. Now, I won't even have time to read that. Um, so yeah, I've just been doing a bit of research myself on it. Okay, so your service configuration, you can do all the normal stuff like clear, uh, clear your service intervals, all that. 
stop communication, go back a module, yes. Okay. Okay, right, so back to the menu. Now what we got here. You can program your battery in for the battery control module. Uh, you know, you can adjust your dynamic seats. Headlamp range adjustment, steering wheel, let's go into instrument panel. This is a very good bit of kit. Um, <clears throat> I'll do a separate video on why I bought this um, and what my plans are or what I have been making a lot of changes recently. Right, again, apologies for. Um, the lack of focus on this guys control module reset right so you can reset all the control modules like I said which I'm not gonna do because you will reset all the adaptations you know stuff like that okay sorry about that guys um, I'm just trying to adjust the, the camera um, right so back to the menus uh, let's go through one more right what we got here uh, Multifunction control unit, We've got Parktronic, uh, seat heater. This car's got so much. Let's try, let's try suspension again. I'm not sure what happened there. Right, suspension error code. Right, error code on the suspension. Let's exit that. I need to look um, closely into that to see what's going on. If you go, if I go into data, right, so you got voltages, maybe look at the voltage is low. Um, let's check the voltages. Okay, terminal 10.8, that means battery is really low. Okay, um, terminal 87 is on, that's, uh, I'm, I'm guessing that's the gateway for the suspension, the level sensors. And these will give you all live readings of level sensors, okay? So signal of left front sensor, right, you can see 231, left front sensor, signal 2, 265, right is 194, uh, signal 2 is 298, so something's adrift here, whether it's not sitting on level ground or anything like that. But if you can see, the car's not level all the way around, so that was my next thing to do, I need to level the car out, okay. Uh, there you go, vehicle level. Okay, front left vehicle is 20, front right vehicle is 26. Now, I don't think that's the car's fault. That's actually the ground that I'm on. It's not, it's not my um, garage floor isn't level, okay? So rear, the rear axle is done in one go. Okay, so we know that's level across. So it's these two I need to look at, whether it's the sensors or whether it's actually the floor. Um, this tests the uh, acceleration sensors, aromatic pressure sensors. <clears throat> so you can you can adjust. I can adjust these manually, right? Okay, pressure in left. So if I go to, I don't even know if it should let me do it. Uh, you can lock. You can lock the suspension. Wake up the process. You can do loads of stuff on this. You know, guys. Vehicle level acceleration sensors, okay. So, um, yeah, codes. Let's see, well, we've been on codes, no codes present now. So, yeah, guys, this is it. So, you know, I'm gonna leave it there because this camera's um, messing about. Um, hopefully, you, you can see what I've done today, guys. Um, yeah, if you've got any questions, comment down below. I'll answer any questions I can, best I can. Um, and I think I'll leave it there. Yeah. So, like I say, guys, any like for newer cars, it'll open up masses of stuff. You know, I mean, like I said, this is a 2003 car. I know it's got a lot of electrics in it, but um, it is a Merc at the end of the day. So, um, yeah, guys, I'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, if you are looking at getting one of these systems, man, I'm telling you, it's well worth it. Um, I got a really good deal from my um, Snap-on guy. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there guys. <clears throat> like I say, if you've got any questions, comment down below. 
like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one guys